cutting a cell, row, or column removes it from its original location and temporarily stores it in what Excel calls the clipboard. The clipboard is basically temporary memory. You can't see what's in it, but whatever you cut or copy will stay in the clipboard until you paste it or cut or copy something else. To cut a cell, select it, right click, and select cut. You can also use the keyboard shortcuts if you know them. If you want to find out what they are, you'll see them right next to the commands here. Or you can use the controls in the toolbar, or you can use the controls in the edit menu. To paste what you just cut, select the blank cell where you want it to go, right click, and select paste. Copying leaves the original data intact, but it also puts a new copy in the clipboard. To copy, select what you want to copy, right click, select copy. To paste it, select a blank cell, right click, paste, and you'll see that it left us a copy there. You can also do this with groups of cells. Just select the range of cells that you want to copy, right click, copy, select a blank area, right click, paste. Cutting and pasting is also how you move columns or rows around within a spreadsheet. Let's say I want to move this category column, which is now column G, to be over here between the amount and the purchaser. I'm first going to select the entire column by clicking on the letter and then right click, cut. This will remove it from its current location and put it somewhere new. I then select the column to the right of where I want the column to go. So in this case I'm going to select column D. Again just click on the letter to select the whole thing. Then I'm going to right click Instead of pasting, I'm actually going to select Insert Cut Cells. This will both make a space for the new column to go and it will insert the column cell. So you now see we have our category column in a new location. This works exactly the same for rows. If I wanted to move this row up to the top, for example, I'm going to select the whole row by clicking on its number, right click, cut. I then select the row that's beneath where I want it to go. So in this case, I'll select row 2, right click, insert cut cells, and you'll see it popped that row in up above. It didn't overwrite anything, it made a new space for it and entered the data above. If you're moving a column or a row to a blank area, you can still use the paste command. So in this case, I would cut, and then if I wanted to put it in this blank row, all I have to do is highlight that row, right click, and select paste and then it will move it here. Excel has a command that allows you to paste data and change it at the same time. It's called Paste Special and it can be really handy. Let's say I want to change these numbers from going up and down to going across. First I'm going to select them, then I'll right click and choose Copy, then I'm going to choose a blank area down here, and I'll right click and choose Paste Special. And what I get here are a bunch of different options for how I want to paste in my data. You can choose to paste just the formulas, just the values, which will remove any formulas or formatting, um, lots of different options. In this case, what we're going to choose is transpose, and if I check that and click OK, you'll see that it moved my numbers from being vertical to horizontal.